I had just released this multi-stream alerts widget. It shows all of your Twitch subs, your YouTube super chats, your donations from Streamlabs or Stream Elements, pretty much everything you can think of, all within one little neat browser source. Except for TikTok and Cake. We'll talk more about that later. The widget even supports Patreon alerts and integrates with fourth wall, so you can get alerts for when people buy your merch. I was sick of having to individually set up each and every single type of alert for every single platform on the earth and then adding 14 billion browser sources into my OBS. And I couldn't find a multi-platform alert widget that I was super happy with. So I said, screw it. I'm just gonna build my own one. And uh, yeah, this is what I came up with. I even color coded the alerts. So if it's a purple alert, you know it's a Twitch alert. And if it's a red alert, you know it's coming from YouTube. The widget's pretty simple. You pretty much just check off each thing that you want. You wanna show an alert every time you get a raid on Twitch, you turn it on. If you don't want raid alerts, then you turn it off. I put this up on my website, nutty.gg. Tier two members have been able to play around with this widget for about a month now. There's also a multi-chat widget if you want to show a combined chat overlay on your stream. I made a video about this up here last month. There's also other cool stuff on my website, but we're not gonna talk about that right now because apparently I'm not allowed to advertise even my own website in my own videos without you guys crying about it. So just check it out if you want or don't. But yes, I did build this myself, which required me to learn JavaScript. I'm still a JavaScript baby. There's a lot that I still need to learn. A lot of you have been asking for advice on programming, by the way. So today I partnered with Brilliant. They've got an entire catalog on courses for programming that are super beginner friendly. You could just watch some YouTube tutorials, but I like Brilliant because they've got a bunch of interactive buttons and diagrams to play around with. And it's a very different way to learn programming, but you'll learn all of the fundamentals that you need to program in basically any language, like what a variable is or what a function is. If you wanna start doing more advanced stuff with C Sharp and StreamerBot, check out their Thinking in Code course. It does take not that long. They have an app so you can do like two or three lessons a day while you're eating breakfast at 2 p.m. because you were playing games all night. Um, so yeah, go go finish that course. So every time I use words like loop and function, you guys will know what I'm talking about. So I don't have to keep explaining what I mean on in these videos. So if you're interested in trying out everything Brilliant has offered, check out brilliant.org slash nutty or scan the QR code on screen right now to get 20% off an annual subscription to their premium plan, or just try it for 30 days. I said plan, but that was like a 90 second take and I'm not, I'm not recording that whole take again. Y you know what I said. All right, to get my multi-stream alert widget, head to the link down below. The download is free. You can give me money if you want. That'd be sweet, because I love money. You'll get a set of instructions. You literally just, you just follow them. Please actually read the instructions because if I update this widget in six months from today, what you see in today's video may look a little bit different, but the written instructions will be the most up to date. This is a streamer bot thing. So yes, you will need to have streamer bot installed to use this. If you've never used streamer bot before, you can check out this video. Mac users, I'm sorry, but there is no streamer bot for Mac, at least right now. You don't really need to do anything in StreamerBot other than making sure you have WebSocket server turned on. If you've installed my multi-chat widget, you've already done this step. So just make sure you have StreamerBot open while this widget is working. StreamerBot is getting a big UI overhaul soon. So I will show on screen the two ways for turning on WebSocket server, depending on which UI you're using right now. Again, just check the written instructions because if whatever you see on screen looks different, the instructions will have the most up-to-date screenshots of the current streamer bot UI. Then open up the link to the widget. This is where you'll customize all of the widget settings. On the left are all the settings you can change and then the right is a real-time preview of what the widget will look like when you import it into OBS. 
it should say connecting in red briefly and then turn green. If it still says connecting in red, make sure you actually turn on WebSocket server in StreamerBot and then make sure the IP and port match what you have in the settings on the left here. So scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says IP and port. Make sure that matches what you have in StreamerBot. You can mess with the settings however you like. Each time you make a change to each setting, you can test the widget by clicking the test button. So if you click it, a test alert with my face will pop up. If you don't like my face, you can switch off show avatar and then that will hide avatars on all of the alerts. If the font is too small, you can make it bigger and then send another test alert to see what it looks like. So it's pretty easy. Once you're happy with all of your settings, you can click the click to copy URL button, then go into OBS or meld or whatever weird streaming software you use, add a browser source and then paste in the link that you just copied. And then that's it. It's going to appear blank in OBS, but I promise you the widget works. You just have to wait until someone gives you a sub. Unfortunately, the test button inside the widget customizer doesn't actually send the alert to OBS. It only works inside the customization page. If you do want to test the widget actually inside of OBS, what you can do is inside StreamerBot, you can create a new action. Then up here, you can add a trigger for whatever you want to test. So for example, if you want to test to see what it would look like if you got a Twitch sub, just add a Twitch sub trigger, right click that trigger and select simulate event. It has to be simulate event. Do not click test trigger because that won't work. Always click simulate event. Unfortunately, not every single type of alert has a simulate event button. So you're not gonna be able to test things like YouTube super chats or YouTube subs, which is really annoying, but as long as you have your YouTube account linked to StreamerBot, I promise when you actually do get a super chat in your YouTube stream, it's you're gonna get the alert here. And it does work for vertical YouTubes and like horizontal YouTube at the, so if you're, if you're doing like the dual YouTube output stream thing, you're gonna get super chats from both of them showing inside of this alert. That's pretty much the basics of using the widget. I will now go through each of the settings because, because I want to. What are you going to climb through the computer and stop me from doing that? There are font options. So if you like the default font or if you don't like it, there's a box where you can just type in whatever fonts you have installed in your computer and then it will change it to that. By default, the background color of each alert will match whatever platform the alert came from. So if you got a Twitch alert, it's purple. If you got a YouTube alert, it'll be red. If it's a Patreon alert, it'll be orange. If it's a RedTube alert, it'll be red. You know, that, that sort of thing. But if you don't like that, you can just turn that option off. And then you can even set the background to uh, like zero opacity. So there's no background if that's something that you prefer. You can also change the alignment of the widgets. By default, it will slide in from the bottom, hold for eight seconds, then slide off the screen. But if you want to have it slide in from the top for like five seconds, then you can just change those settings and set the height after to like five seconds. You, you can do that as well. I also added a default sound effect, which is like this ding sound that I, I, I stole from Storyblocks. Uh, you can turn that sound off if you don't like it. There is no option to upload a sound effect because then I'd have to host your sound somewhere and I, I ain't doing all that, it's too much, it's too much effort. However, there is a show action option and this one's really cool. If you click inside the box, it will show every single action in your streamer bot. Basically, you can run whatever streamer bot action you want and then have it sync with the widget. So if you want, you can create your own sound effect action in StreamerBot and then run that action to get custom sound effects with the widget. For example, I made an action called All this has is a single play sound sub action. Then I typed in the name of the action inside the show action box. And now it plays that sound effect. But because this is a streamer bot action, you can do even more stuff here. For example, 
you could have it activate a filter on your camera in OBS, then automatically hide the filter when the alert goes away. In fact, if you really want to get super advanced, on my stream, I did this cool effect where the alert appears above my camera, and then I made it push my chat up to make room for the alert. It looks super, super clean. I've never seen anything like this before. And it's, uh, yeah, you, you, you can do it with this widget. And finally, you can individually turn on and off every single type of alert that you want. For example, if you don't care to show alerts for every channel point redemption, you could just turn that off. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see all the options for showing Patreon alerts, stream elements, donations, uh, fourth wall merch alerts. And you'll notice under each type of alert, there's a box that says, also run this streamer bot action. And this works basically the same as that show action box from before, except if you wanna have a different sound effect per platform, then you can do that. You just create a separate streamer bot action type it in each of the boxes here, and then you could have per platform sound effects. Keep in mind for things like Patreon and coffee, you will need to connect your, is it, is it Ko-Fi or coffee? Or Ko, Ko-Fi? Can, can, I don't, I don't know what it is, which whoever works for that company, can you f like change the company name? Cause this is stupid. Anyway, uh, for those different platforms, you will need to connect your accounts to StreamerBot and the process for connecting your account is different for each platform. So if you happen to be one of the five people watching this video that is interested in adding Patreon alerts to your stream, just click the link under the platform and then it will give you instructions for how to connect to that platform. Now, as far as TikTok and Kick integration, I constantly get asked when my widgets are gonna support TikTok and Kick. And the reality is I don't like you, okay? I hate you, yes you. Okay, Paul, you keep asking for TikTok and I don't like you. I'm not putting it in there. Just thought I'd put in a little bit of humor in the video to make you laugh it a little bit. Don't know if that worked. Just let that in simmer in for a bit. Uh, no, the real answer is uh, I don't have a team around me and I'm doing my best. I have zero employees. I do all this stuff myself. I edit my videos myself. I do all the programming myself. Um, TikTok and Kick are going to be hard to support. It's technically possible, but it's going to make the installation of my widgets really difficult. And I'm trying to make my widgets as normie proof as possible. So here's what I'm planning to do sometime in the future. And I don't know when, but when I get the chance, I may look into building an add on pack for TikTok and kick that will add those platforms to some of my widgets for the people that want them. Everyone else can just ignore them and pretend that they don't exist if you don't have any interest in TikTok or Kick. But for the people that are willing to go through the extra effort, uh, I'm gonna do some research to see what I can do to support you guys. So uh, if you wanna stay up to date, follow me on Twitter join the Discord and do all those things. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated there. And also follow me on Twitch because we, we're gonna be doing all the research stuff on Twitch sometime soon. Tier two members on nutty.gg will get access to those add-on packs first if I ever get around to actually making them. So if you want, you can join nutty.gg for just $10 a month. Here's a little bit of a secret though, okay? I don't know if the dumbass who set up that website uh, knows this, but you can just like sub for one month, you can get everything you need, and then you can just like cancel, and you can just keep the widgets forever. I don't I don't know if he, I don't know if the guy knows that you could do this, I don't know if he's stupid, but don't, don't tell anyone though, because we don't want the dude to find out, and then he'll like take the website down, so, but just putting it out there. Anyway, thanks guys, uh, enjoy the widget, or else.